Welcome back to my channel data bi sql so in today's video right uh, i'll continue with the amazon uh, sql interview questions uh, uh, series so i have already made uh, 10 videos on this and on the sql interview questions from amazon and then this is the 11th video so uh, i will i will put this uh, in, in a playlist i have a playlist for that as well you can check it out in the link in the description uh, and then uh, uh, just look at this video i would say uh, pretty carefully because there is a high chances that this kind of question will come up you know in the interview question and this is the intermediate to advanced uh, sql question this is not a basic sql question so you can expect this mostly in the senior BIE interviews, senior data engineer interviews, and senior data scientist interviews. Because uh, uh, the query, if you look at it finally, it might look simple, but the thought process that goes in this, right? I mean, it's not simple, straightforward. Now, you need to use common table expression. You need to think through how the data is structured and things like that. So it's an advanced level, I would say, uh, uh, interview question. Uh, 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 please pay uh, attention to this. I will share the ddl i'll share the insert statement i'll share the select query we are we are seeing here so you guys can practice it on your own by downloading the postgres and pg admin uh, uh, right i mean that will help you so uh, uh, before i get started right i have a request that uh, please subscribe to my channel and like my video so that gives me a lot of encouragement to make this kind of video so let's get started so here uh, if you see uh, there are two tables that are provided okay uh, so pretty straightforward employee table city name right and salary for this video we just need employee id and salary because the other columns are not into picture uh, for the questions being asked so just look at this employee and salary straightforward table employee one making 150,000, two making 200,000, and so on there are 10 employees the second question is sorry the second table is uh, it gives the relationship between the employee and the manager right so employee and the manager relationship uh, typical right i mean you have multiple employees reporting to the same manager. So if you see here, employee one reporting to four, uh, two and three reporting to five, six reporting to four, uh, seven and 10 reporting to four. So one manager, employee four, having a four reportees, right? So pretty straightforward. So what's the question? The question is write a query to display those employees who are making higher salary than their managers, right? So uh, we need to print those employees who are making higher salary than their managers. What, what does that mean? So if you see employee one and employee four, if you go and see the salary of employee one, the salary of employee one is 150,000, salary of four is 340,000. So is employee one making more than employee four? No, so employee one will not come up. Let's look at employee four. Employee four is making 340,000. If you see employee four is reporting to employee seven, which is making 250,000. So employee four will come up because he is making more than the, more than the, uh, employee employee seven so if you see the relationship right uh, let's look at the map employee hierarchy uh, so four is reporting to seven right so four is making 300,000 then 40 employee seven is making some somewhere around less than 300,000 so that should come up correct that should come up okay uh, yeah so four is 340 seven is 250,000 okay so I just put it uh, just for a simple understanding right so employee one and six reports to employee four and these both employees make less than four and these make less than five. So this should not come. So all these employees should not come up. Let's look at four. Okay, four reports to seven. So this should come up, right? Because four is having 340. We just saw it, right? So four should come up. Five reports to eight. So five is 300,000. Eight is 300,000. Uh, so it should not come up, right? Because both are equal actually. So that should. that's why they said just higher salary, okay? Not equal to also, okay? It should not come up. Eight reports to nine. So eight is 300,000, nine is 270,000. So it should come up. So our answer should be four and eight. So now how do we solve this, right? How do you go about it? So here, what is there is uh, probably you need to compare the salaries between two, uh, two different sets, right? You need to compare the salary of a manager and you need to compare it with the employee salary. So when this kind of comparison things come up, right? And I have covered this common table expression in video, I think three or four and other videos as well. Uh, so uh, if you if you see my revenue growth video, right? I think that's video eight, nine, or ten, um, seven, eight, uh, nine. I think uh, one of them over there. The revenue growth uh, uh, when we are comparing between 2021 and 2020, we came out with the same kind of concept. Like get the data for 2021 revenue, get the data for 2020 revenue, and then compare the growth, right? So here same thing we can do. So what we can do is with so this is called common table expression. Uh, in, in SQL and this advanced concept, 
So what we'll do is we'll bring up two tables. Okay, so first table is with employee underscore cell, right? So when you run this query, pretty straightforward, bringing the salary employee, right? Employee four making three forty, employee one. Everybody is like you know we we are just bringing the employee salary. Okay. The second is where we are joining this two table, and we are bringing employee salary, but we are bringing manager ID also along with that. Okay. So if you see here, employee four is reporting to. Employee seven, so that manager is coming up here, right? Why we are bringing manager? Because we need to compare the salary of manager, right? Uh, you know, uh, how much uh, uh, a manager as an employee, manager also an employee, right? So we need to compare the salary of manager uh, and that with the employee, right? So here, if you see, employee four is reporting to seven, and employee four is making three forty, seven is making two fifty. So we'll just come do a, do that comparison and uh, say that four, when four when when four is greater than Uh, salary is greater than seven, then uh, print the employee four. Okay, so here, so now the next query is if you see we are bringing employee ID, we are joining these two tables that we created employee underscore cell manager underscore cell, and then we are joining the employee employee ID of this employee table with manager employee ID of this table. Okay, so what it will do is it will join the seven and seven here seven as a manager. Okay. For four, let's just look at the employee four because that's that's what is going to get printed in the output, right? So that's why I'm just concentrating on four. You could obviously I'll put these queries in the description. You can play around with the query. You can see the data yourself, and then you can uh, uh, tweak the queries, right? I mean, you can do all those things. But here, let's concentrate on four. So when you say the employee ID seven, right? And here the manager ID is going to be seven for four, correct? Right? So it's going to join seven with seven. Okay, so here what we are saying is, here the salary, right? When you are saying employee four salary is greater than employee cell dot salary. So what we are doing is, remember here we are joining with the manager employee ID. So what it is doing is, it is comparing the salary of seven with that of four. Correct? Correct? So it is here we are saying employee salary. So here remember. We are joining manager employee ID. So manager employee ID is what seven, right? A manager employee ID seven for for employee four. So we are joining that with this. We are getting the salary of here. The salary of seven will come up, and here the salary of employee ID. So here is the salary of four will come up, right? So we are saying when the salary of the employee four is greater than salary of employee seven, who is a manager of employee four, print me that output. Right, so compare employee four salary, which is three hundred forty thousand. Compare employee salary, which is basically employee seven, whose salary is two hundred fifty thousand. And if it is greater, then print the output. Okay, so let's just let's just see the data, right? So if you see, if you if you run this query, you need to run that together. So you're getting four and eight, correct? Now, if you do less than, then what should be the output? That means we are saying, bring me all the managers. That are basically making more than the employees. So what will happen? Four and eight will not come up, correct? Because four and eight came up when they as employee they are making more than more than the managers, right? Here we are saying bring me the managers who are making more than employees, right? So four and eight is not coming up. And when we do it equal, what happens? What should come up? Employee five should come up because their salary is three hundred thousand, both of them, correct? See, so that verifies that our output is. Correct, basically, right? So the for for the for question that we had is we had to get the employees whose salary is more than the manager salary. So in that case, four and eight is coming up. So that's the correct output. Okay. So if you see when we structured the queries the way we we wanted, like based on the question, it made it simple actually, right? Uh, uh, and that made that simplicity came from okay, the comparison is being asked, right? So Should we do a self join, or can we do we go with a common table expression? Okay, so in this case we we went ahead with the common table expression because we are comparing the salary of the manager and salary of the the employee. So bring two tables, bring the manager ID, join the manager ID, uh, manager employee ID with that of employee ID uh, uh, for, for the employee table, right? And then compare the salary between both of both the employee and the manager, and that way get the data, right? So. Uh, uh this is definitely a tricky as in uh, uh when the question is presented to you you need to think like how we are going to write the query right first you need to structure what all what should be the output right 10 employees are given 
based on the query and the data and data is very straightforward right 10 employees it's not like they gave you 1000 employees right they just give you 10 employees so uh, okay the question is uh, employee making higher than the managers let's uh, go and look at the salary of let's first look at who is reporting to whom once you figure that out and see which employee is making higher than the manager right so just bring your output down to uh, two or three employees right in this case just in your mind right so these two should come up so you should concentrate on that so once you dis once you know the output that this should be the output it makes it a little bit easier to write the query right so just structure it like that so uh uh so that's it uh, for today guys i'll as i mentioned i'll share the i'll share everything in the description of this video i'll add this to the uh, amazon interview question playlist as well there are other 10 videos so total it will make 11 videos with this video so i uh, request you to go through all the videos you know if you have not already watched all of them are covering different kind of concepts basic to intermediate to advanced concept uh, and i i want to thank you uh, all very much